Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Trevor, and Travis isn't here. This is my wife, Jessica. I, I am the Woodstyle Shinobi, and she is the Woodstyle Kanichi on this one. So, uh, Koinichi, Kanichi, Kanichi, the mightiest, you're the mightiest disciple. Well, she's the only disciple, so that's what we got here. Anyways, if you get that reference, you got it. If you don't, then, well, get to getting. Anyways, on today's episode, we are going to be making a charcuterie board. Yay! Uh, for you who don't uh, know the finer things in life, charcuterie board is a uh, meats and cheese on a platter. We're going to be making the platter for uh, my mom's uh, housewarming gift. You know, she's buying a new house, so uh, we're going to be making it out of this uh, really nice uh, hunk of maple. My brother and I bought uh, about six of these uh, about six months ago for uh, about $60. Really good deal. Maple, uh, we're, so my idea today is we're going to be cutting this into shape, uh, just squaring it off and all that, and then uh, we're going to be cleaning this part up, and we're going to be filling it with a color of resin. What, what color are you thinking we should do? Blue. Blue? Uh, yeah, we could probably do blue. And uh, also on top of that, uh, once we get it all planed down, squared up and all that, I want to write uh, B and B because... Both, both my mom and her uh, boyfriend's name start with a B, so I, I want to do something, you know, super fruity like that. So, uh, you know, we'll do like a blue fill right here, and we'll do blue B and B of some sort. It's gonna be super stylish. Anyways, let's get to the build. Later. All right, everyone, so this is what we got so far. We got it planed down to where we want it on both sides. I uh, made sure to uh, scrub down all the, the witness marks with some 40 grit sandpaper, so it's just uh, done up to 40 grit right now. And uh, Jessica took care of all the, uh, all the pith that was in here and cleaned that up, so now it should be able to take resin no problem. So now what we're gonna do is decide what side we're gonna be using for the top and what side we're gonna use for the bottom. So we're going to call this A side, boom, A side, and this shall be B side. So uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, put some denatured alcohol on that. That's not kombucha, don't drink that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get it on like the, the figured area.
So this will be what the finished product looks like and it is looking phenomenal right now. So this is B side. Okay, let's go ahead and do that with A side, which personally I think will be the side we're using because it has some bird's eye right here and it also has some spalting where I, where the, this pith was. What spalting is just uh, it's just mold and bird's eye is just uh, irregularities, but it all all makes the wood look very well. So we'll go ahead and uh, rub that and let's see what it looks like. Let's get a lot more uh, denatured alcohol on there. Oh mama. Okay, this is A side, the other side is B side. Uh, what do you think, Jess? I like B side. You know what? I like A side too. We're gonna go with A side, everybody. Anyways, let's get back to the action. Later! Jessica has picked out two colors. Well, I picked out one, she picked out the other. She picked blue, so this is what we're going with. She picked Sea Wave, and I picked Blue Dye Pearl. So with these, we're gonna make uh, two different resin pours. Well, we're gonna do uh, resin. We're gonna do two different. We're gonna let them sit for a little bit, and once they get a little hard, then we'll be able to mix them together, and uh, that'll make that cool effect. If we pour them in, Instantly, they're just gonna mold into one color, so we don't want that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do tape on the board, and then we're gonna make a border, tape that down also, and then we're gonna flood it and uh, resin fill. We're also gonna resin fill the B&B &B for uh, my mom and her boyfriend's initials. So uh, let's get back to the action. true wood style shinobi form. We have a super jacked up half-assed uh, form for the uh, for the uh, table and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pour this bad boy. These don't seem to be heating up too much so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, do it anyways.
we just pulled the sword from the stone. This is what we got so far. Very nice. So, next order of business is to, we're gonna plane this one more time. Gonna go ahead and uh, put some kind of chamfer around it. And, uh, and then just do a sand finish. And that should be good. And then we'll uh, get a close up once we're all done. Anyways, back to the egg. So this is where we're at so far after, uh, this is a 150 grit and I just spritzed it with water to raise the grain a couple times. I just want to get, let you guys know uh, what a charcuterie board really is. So the definition of a charcuterie is uh, cold cut, cuts of meat. So I uh, think like salami, mortadella, capacola, anything like that. Um, usually with the charcuterie board presentation, you're gonna have uh, not just the cold meats, but accoutrement, if you will. So you're gonna have cheeses. You're gonna have all the fancy cheeses. The ones that smell like feet, the ones that taste like cheese, the ones that taste like cheese and feet. Uh, you're gonna have um, dried fruits, regular fruits, chocolate, and even jab. Anyways, uh, what would you put on your charcuterie board? Candy? I think I might put candy on this bad boy before we present it to my mom and her boyfriend. Anyways, let's get back to the action. There you have it, folks. The Shun Connery Board. <laughs> Charcuterie for you laymans out there. But what's your favorite Sean Connery movie? What's your favorite Sean Connery movie? Comment down below. Mine, personally, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Because I am a gentleman. Uh -huh. Do you have a favorite? No, I do not have a favorite. How dare you? Um, so... Couple things uh, with this board. Uh, as you've seen, we did put the B and B on it, but we decided that we're gonna keep the board, so we got rid of that. No, we're still giving it away. <laughs> okay, we got rid of it because we had to do a little extra planning to make it look real. But other than that, uh, it did come out really well. Uh, I especially love how the uh, blue really molded together with the other blue in a swirl pattern, of course. Uh, we have our, it's, gorgeous amount of uh of figuring on this i didn't really know what the board looked like when i when i had the raw wood and i am very pleased with my purchase uh it has bird's eye it, it has quilting it has angel step you know it, it's just all over the place and it is lovely uh we put some handles on we put some feet on and it is amazing anyways uh anything before we go any pros cons yeses nos maybe so's we should keep it we should keep it. We're not keeping it. We're going to give it to my mammy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, uh, check us out on Facebook, uh, Instagram. And uh, as always, we are the Woodstyle Shinobi. Later!